Hey guys, what's up? It's Alex and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, as you guys already saw in the title, today is going to be a full face of makeup using only NYX products. And I don't know, this video is so exciting because in my very first video, I just started the series on my channel. In my very first video, I did a collab with one of my fellow YouTubers. And in my second video of this series, I am also doing a collab with my girl Chelsea from Cali. I definitely love her. Me and Chelsea have been friends for a very, very long time. I will probably say like four or five years it's crazy but we've been together and started this journey together as well and i just absolutely love her so so much she is beautiful she's talented and you guys definitely need to go check out her channel i will list it down below for you guys as well and she also did a full face of makeup using only nyx products and i definitely enjoyed doing this video because i came up with this look right here and let me tell you guys i am so impressed i am extremely impressed and i am so happy with how the look came out i love the foundation i love everything but you guys will see what would happen you guys will see my first little impression of the products if you guys definitely want to watch and see how i created this look then definitely keep on watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also click that little bell button right next to that so that you will be notified for any of my future videos and also do not forget to check out chelsea's video as well i will link it down below for you guys and let's just jump right into the video Okay guys, so we are gonna jump right in and I am extremely excited to use these products because I don't really own a lot of NYX products in my makeup collection, so I'm excited. I'm very excited. So what we are going to do first is we are going to fill our brows. I'm just gonna go ahead and just kind of just do my makeup in the order that I am used to doing my makeup. So that is what we're gonna do. And for brows, I did pick up this NYX Micro Brow Pencil. And these right here are very popular all over. They're extremely popular. A lot of people have used these kind of little pencils already. I've always been curious to pick one up, but I just never had the time or chance to pick one up. So we are going to be using this for our brows. On one side, you have your little spoolie. And then on the other side is just your regular um, retractable little pencil. And I got this in the shade Espresso. Okay, so right off the bat, I can already tell that this is too light for me. It's very, very like chocolatey brown kind of shade. I really thought espresso was going to be almost black, but it's not. But we're just going to work with it. You guys know that I always put mascara as like a gel. So either way, that's going to darken them up. So it's okay. Like I said, it is a little bit too brown and red for me. But the consistency of this little pencil, it's amazing. I love it. It's more like a waxy feel. And it's definitely a dupe for the brow wiz. To clean our brows, I am going to use this NYX concealer. This NYX concealer is the HD concealer concealer in the shade 04 now this is going to be extremely light to highlight under uh, my brow bone but you know what I'm just gonna use a tiny tiny bit of it I'm just gonna blend that down I'm just gonna blend that with my finger just to give me very nice defined kind of brow look right there now i am going to take this la fro fro or la frau frau i'm not sure how to pronounce this you guys can definitely see for yourself la fro fro la fro fro la fro fro mascara i've used this mascara before and i absolutely loved it this is going to definitely darken them up a little bit so that is what we're gonna do Oh yeah, you can definitely see the darkness right away. And this also acts as a brow gel, so that is why I love using mascara as brow gel because it definitely works. Now for eyes, I did pick up this Sex Bomb eyeshadow palette from NYX and I picked this up at Walmart, at Walmart, at Target. What am I saying? So we're gonna use this palette right here and this palette was super inexpensive, guys. It was like $7. NYX? next prices is like going up so i don't know what's going on it's definitely to me a high-end drugstore makeup definitely before we put on eyeshadow though we are going to prime our eyelids with that same concealer so i'm just gonna put some there just a little bit not that much 
I just want something to to just blend across my eyeballs. We are going to set that with that little beige color right there in the middle. That one right there, we're just gonna set our concealer with that. And the reason why I like doing this is because it's just gonna add a base color to my eyeballs. That way that my eyeshadow just kind of pops off a little more. So now that that is done, we are going to just freestyle an eye look. I'm not sure what we wanna do yet, but I am definitely gonna go, let me just swatch this one pink red coral shade i'm just gonna go in with that one right away i'm not sure how good the color paint off is but we're just gonna wing it so we're just gonna put that all over our crease and go back and forth so back and forth on our outer crease area and take it all the way to the inner area and just blend that out so it did blend really nicely after a while i kind of thought it was patchy at first but it is blending really nicely once i start working my brush in there so like i said i'm just gonna take that color and work it all the way on my crease and i'm just gonna put that back and forth I mean, the color paint waff does not look super extreme on camera. I'm not going to lie. In person, it, there is color though. There is color. I'm not sure why the camera is not picking it up, but there's products. Look at all that products on my brush. And I'm gonna add a little more to my outer V and just kind of put it in there just so that the color can pop off. I guess I'm gonna go in with that black right there. We're just gonna go straight with that black. And I'm just gonna put that on the outer. Um, it is a little bit dark. I'm not sure if it's as dark as I want it to be, but we're just gonna start slowly. After you just add that black, we are just gonna blend it and blend it and blend it. So then we're gonna take that same brush that we used for that beautiful coral shade and we're gonna get that coral shade again. And we're just gonna go over, not over that black, but just kind of blend it out so that it can just smoke out really nicely. For our lid color, I think I'm gonna go in with that beautiful purpley kind of vanilla shade right here. There's not a lot of color payoff there. So I think what I'm gonna do guys is I'm gonna take this NYX highlighter, this illuminator um, thing right here. And I think I'm gonna use this as my lid color. It's supposed to be like a highlight, but I think that will look better. <music> We are definitely going to just wipe off any excess makeup. So we're just gonna clean up and perfect that nose. Okay. I'm just gonna apply that um, NYX mascara that I absolutely do love. And what I like to do, I don't know if I'm the only one, but for mascaras, I like to bend the thing like this because I love my mascara wand to be crooked. I don't know why. I just. That's just me, guys. That's just me. But anyway, we're just going to apply some mascara to our ojos. I am excited 
for this moment right here. So the foundation that we are going to try out today is this NYX HD Studio Photogenic foundation and it looks like this it's just like a nice little tube so let's talk about nyx foundations i have gone to two ulta's and i have gone to target and also where else did i go i think it was like cvs or walgreens i'm not sure why is it that nyx does not have any any type of variety whenever it comes to foundations like no lie i'm not kidding you guys i wish i was but my foundation shade this one which is uh, natural beige this was the darkest shade in this foundation line the darkest shade i checked at ulta at target this was the darkest shade ever i'm not sure what's going on with nyx i'm pretty upset about that because I mean, y'all have to get it together. Y'all have to get it together. The color does look really good, actually. It looks thick because it's not running down. So it does look thick, but it does feel watery. It feels very liquidy. So I'm just going to grab my Wonder Blender from Shop Miss A. This is a $1 sponge, and I love this. It smells so good because I just washed it. So I'm just going to dip the foundation and just kind of put it all over my face right away the color though jeez bravo the color looks really good wow so it is definitely not a full coverage because you can still see part of my imperfections there you can see i have a lot of like dark spots and like purple red areas it did cover and even out my skin tone, but you can still see a little bit of my imperfections. I can already see that this is going to be a very dewy foundation. Definitely dewy. So now we're just going to go ahead and jump into concealer. So we are going to conceal under my eyes. Again, again. For concealer, I am using that same NYX Ultra HD Studio Photogenic. I guess it's the exact same line as the foundation. I have tried the concealer before and I did like it. So to set that, I am going to use this HD Studio. I already had this. This is the NYX. HD Studio Photogenic again the exact same line as the products that I've been using and I'm gonna use this to set my concealer I have used this before guys and I honestly I just did not like it I did not like the consistency the formula I am excited to try this though this is an NYX NYX. This is a NYX Mineral Set It, Don't Fret It Matte Finishing Powder. And this is perfect because I did say that that foundation left me super dewy. And I definitely do need this. I did get this powder in the shade Medium Dark. Again, this is the darkest powder, guys, that they have. Ridiculous, if you ask me. But I'm just going to go ahead and grab just a e.l.f. brush here. I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna work on my lower lash line and for that I am gonna take just a very small brush like this and I'm just gonna take that black shadow no I'm not I'm gonna take that coral shadow and I'm gonna do it on my lower lash line take that black that black from that same palette and just do it in the outer corner just in the outer v next we are just gonna go ahead and add mascara to our lower lash line So next we are going to be using this NYX bronzer and this is the matte bronzer and I have been using this bronzer for a very long time. I absolutely love this bronzer so much. So much. It's just like the perfect, perfect matte bronzer and I have this in the shade Deep Tan Angled Elf Brush. Dip my brush in there. It's very pigmented by the way and I am just going to 
chisel them cheekbones and kind of just add some color to my face. With a flame, I will let you in this game. Take me up when I'm down. Cause with you, I'm saving some. Let me feel I'm all yours. I just wanna. Hold. We're gonna just chisel our chin and our nose. So next, we are going to use this NYX Professional Chromatic Illuminating Powder. I didn't really see blushes because I went to Target to go um, get the rest of the makeup that I needed, but I didn't see blushes anywhere. So this was the closest thing to a blush. It's kind of like a bronzing kind of, I mean, it's a highlight for darker shades, but it's beautiful. I'm not sure. It's probably going to be too glittery. Probably. Well, it's actually super pretty. Guys, this is actually like a highlight. No joke. It's actually a highlight. I don't even think that should go on my cheeks. Maybe I can try that little pink shade right here as a blush. Maybe I can do that. I'm not sure if it's going to be too. Well, gave me a little bit of color because it is pigmented so i don't want it to be ah see you just gotta use what you got you just gotta use what you got i actually do have this nyx illuminator and this is in the shade 04 it's just a highlight but it's very frosty i don't really like using it because it's very frosty it's very white I do not like white frosty shades at all. And then the one that I just swatched, which is the chromatic one in the shade 05, looks really pretty. I'm just gonna grab a little bit of that white one and of that, this one right here. I'm just gonna. this NYX soft matte lip cream and these are so popular I totally love their soft matte line I love them this is in the shade Abu Dhabi it's like my favorite ever and okay guys so this is the final look and if you ask me I am definitely loving the look i love the eye color i just love everything especially that highlight i am extremely impressed like i am so 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 impressed i think this is like legit my favorite thing ever like from the makeup that i use today definitely pick this up guys definitely pick this up this is there were a lot of shades when i saw this at target the professional chromatic um illuminating powders definitely a go the lip i just went with a very simple soft matte lip cream they're my favorite to use the foundation looks really really good surprisingly like the foundation looks really really good the powders definitely did set it i do not look like oily i don't like i don't look dewy or anything like that i just really 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 did enjoy filming this video and i really did enjoy just coming up with this look for you guys definitely check out chelsea's video i will post it down below as well and i will post it somewhere up here that way you guys can go show her love and also let her know that i send you over she's just beautiful and i'm sure she's gonna kill this look as well really hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up so that i will definitely create more one brand tutorials full face as well and i will see you guys in my next video